I'm here at the Transition 2011 conference. Um, my name's Ed Mitchell from Bristol, and I'm here with Mike from Forest Row, who's going to tell us a little something about change. Change. Um, it's happening all the time. And um, the, the, the question is, how does change actually come about? Because it, we, in one way, we look and we see things are stable. On the other hand, underlying it, there's lots of change going on. And sometimes, or very often, as activists or as change makers, we can get dispirited because we don't see the change coming about that, that we want to have happen. We have sometimes a view that change will happen gradually over a long period of time and that we need to go out and persuade everybody to this new way of living. Uh, and if that doesn't happen, then we can get very dispirited. But that's not actually how change comes about. What happens is that you have a, a, a structure, a system, um, that over time becomes rigid. It serves a purpose and then so many changes have come about that that structure has become outmoded and no longer functions, no longer works effectively. And within that system, that pop up different, um, to use example, often there's uh, imaginal cells, say in a caterpillar, that start to attack the system, which the existing infrastructure uh, attacks and, and resists. But there comes a point where the old system doesn't work and transformation really only comes about through instability of the system. And it's at that point that a fairly small percentage of the existing um, structure, but of the new imaginal cells, we could say, then influence the whole body to flip over into a new state. So it goes to collapse, is part of that process. So we don't have to fear collapse, because out of collapse is what's actually the process of change, of bringing about the new order, the new way of doing things. So what we're doing as change makers is creating, or being those imaginal cells, so that when the the old system no longer operates or no longer is able to function, that the new way of doing things. So the three things, for example, that Joanna Macy says about what we need to do in order to bring about the change is, first of all, resist the destruction of the life activities, life um, infrastructure, the planet and so on, resist motorways, nuclear power stations and so on. Come up with new ways of being. So transition towns in new ways of organizing currencies or food systems and so on. But neither of those things on their own will be enough. And then we also need a change of consciousness, a way of thinking. So that's an inner transition as well. So those are the three steps. They're not the way how it happens, but those are the ways I see it to ride the change, to, to be change makers, facilitators of that change coming about. Thank you.